Uh, do you use uh, beta readers or do you get some of the kids from your youth class to, to read an early manuscript? How do you, how do you get feedback before it's uh, out in the world? Boy, um, I don't too much. No, I, uh, when I first started, um, my uh, cousin Grant uh, is, it was in sixth grade. Um, and uh, he was, he was kind of in my target audience range, you know, he was, he was kind of like me when I was a kid. And so I gave him the books to read. Um, and he was very into it. And uh, so that was a good sign. Um, but, you know, now I kind of have a feel, I'm a little bit more confident in it. And um, I don't have too many beta readers. I give it to my wife to read and uh, she picks up on uh, a lot of stuff that I won't. Um, and uh, I give it to my brother to read um, and usually one or two other people, but I don't have a lot of beta readers. Um, and again, maybe I, I probably should have more, um, but at this time I don't. Well, what you're doing is working. I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I wanted to ask about your, your brother, uh, Jesse, right? Yep. Uh, and Jesse designs your covers, does your illustrations. So what does that collaboration look like? How often are you meeting? How uh, how are you working out the, the business between you? Yeah, so um, I live in Ohio. He lives in Florida. Um, and it's been uh, it's been interesting. Um, it was interesting getting started because you're getting started and, you know, the track record for indie books making money is not good. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a professional illustrator and, uh, you know, he, he, he gets paid actual money. Um, and so, and, and I'm asking him to put a lot of hours into a cover um, that's probably not going to make a lot of money. And so, you know, we're kind of trying to figure out a, a solution to that. Um, so fortunately we worked out a thing um, where, you know, he, we started out and, and I paid him the brother rate. Um, so, uh, you know, I paid him, paid him less than market value, but we kind of worked out a, a little, uh, a tier system where, you know, if it hit this amount, this amount or this amount, and then finally, if it hit this amount of sales, um, it would get up to, to the, the market rates value. Um, and so the, the first chapter in the video game, it, we got to that, that market rate value real soon. Um, and then, and then fortunately I've been able just to pay on the market rate going forward. So that was the thing that could have been a little tricky, um, at the beginning, but it worked out well. Uh, and, and it's, uh, the collaboration part is, um, is something that we've gotten better at for sure. Uh, we use Slack to go back and forth and I'll send them a lot of references up front, you know, um, I'll, we'll go through, uh, you know, movie posters, video games, um, and, and I'll, get, I'll I'll find things, uh, and, and I'm really interested in, in the composition and the colors and things like that of the cover because it's important as an indie author. Um, you know, that's your that's your big marketing tool is the cover, um, and and so I'm really interested in, and I focus a lot on that, um, and so I, I have a, a lot of thoughts on it, um, much to his chagrin sometimes. Uh, but I, uh, I send him some stuff, a lot of uh, references over Slack. Um, and then he'll do a sketch, send it back to me. We'll talk about that. Um, he'll, uh, put that sketch into the computer, um, do the line work and then, and then the colors. And, and by that time, um, now we don't have that, that much feedback at the end, uh, which is good. So it, we've worked some stuff out. Um, you know, like I said, a, a lot of references, the more, the better, and uh, a lot of communication over the phone. I'd imagine being in different states is uh, <laughs> a little bit helpful Yeah, <laughs> when you're working on an artistic endeavor like that. Because I know uh, our artists of all kinds tend to be a little bit passionate. I know I've butted heads with uh, with illustrators in the past uh, and, and they butted heads with me because, you know, everybody's got got their feelings. It's our art. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh, I mean, it's it's tough. It's tricky because it's your brother and you can't burn that bridge, you know. Um, so fortunately, uh Again, at the beginning, it, it was a little dicey sometimes, but we uh, we figured out a good way to make it work. Um, and you know, it's just again respecting uh, each other's opinions and, and respecting uh, you know each other's work. Um, and it's a real collaboration, so I'm I'm real happy with the way that it's worked out for sure. And it probably bears uh, emphasizing for those listening who were thinking, "Well, I've got a brother who's who's <laughs> always enjoyed art." Your your brother is a professional artist. Has, yeah. has been doing this for a long time. Other people pay him money for this. Oh yeah, he's very good. Um, <laughs> so if he wasn't very good, uh, I, we wouldn't be doing this. Um, but he's very good, which is again, I'm very fortunate. So it's one of those things I, I emphasize when I when I do events and people come up and they ask me like, "Well, I'm really nervous about doing the cover myself." And I said, well, has, "Has anybody ever paid you to design a cover <laughs> before?" Well, if that hasn't happened, maybe don't start with yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and honestly, that was if he wasn't as good as he is, I wouldn't I wouldn't have gone the indie route. You know, I would have would have gone the traditional route. But um, 
you know, I, I just, I knew that I would have a much better shot of being successful um, with him on board because, you know, he can do a good job at it. Listen, a concern, and I know obviously um, not that the book is traditionally published and the illustrations have been maintained, it's worked out. Um, I had an illustrator partner uh, early on. We, we went back and forth, uh, you know, best friend since the, the third grade. Uh, and we were forever being told, no, the traditional route that we you couldn't have an already pre-established author illustrator collaboration. Was that an issue for you or was it just, hey, we're already doing this ourselves? Why get a publisher involved at, at this point? What was it that, that made you decide Indy was going to be the preferable route? Um, well, like I said, I was selling on Amazon at that point, um, and I, I knew the the platform. Um, you know, I, I found some some indie books, uh, some indie middle grade books that were doing well, and kind of studied them and, and, and kind of had an idea about what to do at that point. Um, and, and honestly, I was just like, hey, we'll, we'll try it. You know, um, I knew that we could do the cover. Um, I was I was confident. Um, you know, pretty confident in my writing and editing ability and things like that. Um, and, and knew what works on Amazon on um, the platform. So I thought we'd try it um, and go from there.